Hey guys, this is Hills Kopecky. Um, this is kind of going to be the first video in a series um, for the Sporting Life Notebook, kind of showing off fishing in Atlanta and the opportunities we have here. Um, what I really want to highlight is kind of the fishing opportunities we have in our backyard that I think are often overlooked. Um, so right now I'm at a fishing spot, um, Island Ford Shoals about for me, it was about a 15 minute drive. So pretty close into Atlanta. I'm going to be going further out each day um, to kind of more, more intense fishing spots, if that makes sense. Um, so this is pretty easy to get to. It's pretty easy fishing if the fish are here. Um, so yeah, come along with me. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Hey guys, we made it down to the river. Um, obviously the Chattahoochee is very large. This spot is definitely not one of its most narrow. Um, it's a large river. And I think that's what really kind of gets people about fishing is they're not sure where to start. They're not sure where to start looking for fish. Um, so I kind of want to want to help out with that, with these videos, kind of show how to fish the Chattahoochee, or at least how I fish the Chattahoochee, um, and kind of show why I think it's a great resource. Um, so I just got in the river. As you're looking around, there's nothing that looks, you know, particularly interesting for fish. But if you look up here, you can see these series of rocks that run across the river. Trout are lazy. They're gonna wanna sit somewhere that's sheltered. They're gonna wanna sit somewhere that's easy to get to. So if I can get up to these rocks that are in the middle of the current, there's a high likelihood there are trout sitting behind these rocks waiting to feed. So that's where we're gonna go. All right, we made it up to the little rocks running across the river here. And this is what I was talking about. So as you can see, we've got some current coming over these rocks and they're breaking up the main current of the river. You see this flow coming down and past me. The trout are gonna be sitting either right here where the flow's slow or right up there. They'll be sitting right on the edge because again, the trout are lazy. They don't wanna swim hard into the current. So they're gonna hide behind rocks and they're gonna come into the current to get food and go back. So we wanna be placing our flies or our lures right in this general area and letting it come back through with the current. It's one of those days, the river won. Um, fishing's not a guarantee, nor is hunting. As y'all saw on the Sporting Life Notebook story not too long ago, you go through covey slumps, you go through getting skunked. It's kind of part of it. Just when you think you know nature, she's just gonna throw a curveball at you. Just kind of the way things happen. Um, I did have one hooked. He slipped off, unfortunately. But we know there are fish there. So that's the important thing that I do want people to realize is how close these places are and that they're pretty accessible. Um, you know, wading wise, it is a little more challenging. But if you're able bodied, you won't have an issue doing it, which is why I'd recommend it. It's a great, great spot. Um, so go check it out. Island Ford Shoals. Uh, hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with another spot. See ya.